What's up everyone? Welcome to MLB The Show. Now I apologize, but in this first episode there are going to be some um, audio. Um, it's not going to sound the greatest because I um, am coming off of my uh, the default headset that comes with the PS4. But here we go. We are getting into it. We finally have the OSFM rosters at our disposal. Everyone will soon. Um, I just downloaded them immediately as they were released, and this will be exported straight to YouTube. So the audio is not the greatest for this one, but hang in there. Um, all the future episodes will be post commed so there's that um, to look forward to. Now, as it comes to the team, I've announced this several times. It's going to be an AL Central team that's the most competitive division, in my opinion. Any of these five, well, not the Twins, any of these four teams could really win it, but I am going to hope that the Cleveland Indians are going to by my disposal now we're gonna get into this so GM contracts gonna turn off because I want control over this um, completely now I'm not gonna do this um, I was gonna consider doing the CPU trading um, but or off but I'm gonna leave it on and I'm gonna turn in some trades on as well as I usually do but um, CPU trading will be a thing and uh, it will see how it goes you know I can always restart the franchise if it's a little ridiculous early on um, I have not looked at these rosters yet. I have only downloaded them. So um, I actually am um, not even 100% sure if they are um, the legitimate ones. But I'm a. Uh, hold on, I had to refresh something. I'm pretty sure that these are the correct ones, considering uh, someone told me that these would be the right ones. Um, well, the. Sorry, the not the right ones. The. Um, the, 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 the. The tag. There we go. Um. So, um, let's look at our roster. So, nothing else has changed from, um, nothing that's changed from, like, the regular rosters is the players in the minor leagues. So, um, yeah, Francisco Lindor is on these rosters. That's nice, because uh, that was a player I was really looking forward to having. Um, and, uh, yeah, Clint Frazier's there. So, these are the legitimate rosters. Um, so, um, any... Um, doubt in my mind is now gone. Um, it did not. Now the, the difference between this and what you might see in a few months called the uh, the hybrid rosters, um, OSFM hybrid rosters, are these um, don't edit any of the uh, the MLB players. So you'll see for some reason um, Brandon Moss has 40 speed, um, or I guess we'll probably use a better example. Um, I don't really see anyone. Everyone's kind of accurate at this point. Um, no, that's uh, whatever. Um, maybe I'll. I'm just. I'm. What? Whatever. These like. It seems like speed and fielding. Yeah, like this fielding is only 70 for. I mean, I don't know. But it's not. It's hard to explain over here. But for the most, like some players will have random attributes given to them. Like their speed will be really high or. Their speed will be significantly higher than their stealing ability. It doesn't really happen with Michael Bourne, but um, uh, I'll try and find a place like you know Michael Brantley. He's not a prolific base stealer, but you know you you can kind of get the point. Um, they edited Jose Ramirez too because I believe he had B potential, but um, we'll see where he goes. You know I'd like him to get um, up there, but I was kind of looking forward to having him, um, but. Um, you know, I guess he's not really gonna get uh, that much or that not that much better, but that good. So um, We'll go over the entire team now. Um, so In the MLB we have starting pitching lines. We have Corey Kluber, Carlos Carrasco um, I'm bringing Salazar up um, Right now and Trevor Bauer and Gavin Floyd are going to be um, Oh, he's not on my 40 men. They're gonna be my rotation I'm going to put Zach McAllister in the bullpen as a long man. Um, Bruce Chen and Sean Markham can man the minors with Brewer and House and uh, all these other guys who are not very good. Um, and uh, I'll let the computer manage the minor leagues for us because we don't really have any prospects that we need to get really good and all that. Um, and then as far as the... Um, the shit, I can't think of it. Um, oh, the relief pitching goes. We've got Scott Atchison, Brian Shaw... Mark Ripchinski, and uh, after that it really falls off um, to the point that we might have to actually go out and sign someone. We'll look at that in a second though. Um, and then 
Behind the plate, we have Jan Gomes and Roberto Perez as well. Um, eh, we'll keep him around, I guess. Carlos Santana is going to be manning first for us. Um, Nick Swisher has got to get up on our uh, Major League squad. Um, and then we got Kipnis, uh, Lonnie Chisenhall. Uh, Francisco Lindor will not be on our MLB team, but we are going to add him to the 40-man roster. Uh, Micah Velez will be manning short this year. And uh, Jose, actually, I'll probably have Jose Ramirez man short and uh, maybe have Mike Aviles uh, as like a utility man. Who knows um, what we're going to do in that regard. Um, but we do have Nick Swisher to play left and right field for us as well. So um, Michael Brantley is a great player. He is going to be our number three hitter. And um, we'll, we'll see how it all pans out. But Michael Bourne, Manning Center. And Brandon Moss will not be in right field. It'll be David Murphy playing right field with Brandon Moss as our DH. So um, we're going to sim spring training. Actually, first we're going to uh, not Google. I don't know why I just said, almost said Google. We're going to look at relief pitching. Um, so there's a few solid options here. We could also sign Yalis Jacin, um for the minors. Um, there's a few decent um, free agent options here. Um, but nothing that I'm overly interested in at the current moment. Um, so we might sign, we could sign Juan Carlos Oviedo or Rafael Soriano to be a setup man, or we could sign both, really. I'm, I'm considering signing both. Um, Ryan Domit as a backup catcher could be a possibility. JPR and Sibia, uh, Jose Molina. Um, probably going to go with Ryan Domit, though, to be completely honest. Um, to the versatility. Um, we are going to sign a few of these guys, so um, there's no doubt about that in my mind. Kevin Franzen is actually a free agent. Hmm. Um, I was considering also um, Marco Scudero, but he doesn't really play any other positions. We got Mike Abilas already. Um, as, out, as far as outfielders go, there's nothing really there. I might sign Dion Vecieto, though, um, because he's a young um, uh, bench option. You can play um, DH or the outfield if we need, someone needs an off day. Um, and I'm not the hugest fan in the world of Ryan Rayburn, especially now. The last couple of years, he's been really bad. Um, well, not the last couple years. Two years ago when they made the playoffs, he was pretty decent for them. But last year, he just he hit 200. I'm not really super happy about that. Um, Carlos Quinton was my other option at DH that I was thinking about. But we have Brandon Moss uh, as is probably a preferred DH um, because he's really good for power. Um, and he's not the best fielder or he's not the fastest guy in the world either. So um, we're going to go get rid of some players really quick. Um, who are kind of old or don't have very good potential. Um, I was thinking maybe Josh, we'll get rid of Josh Tomlin. We'll release Josh Tomlin because um, he's kind of useless to us. And um, I'm going to clear up a couple more spots. Um, we'll get rid of these two relievers. Um, well, maybe not both of them. Okay. We'll go to this guy too. Okay. So now let's, uh, let's sign some players. Alright, so we're going to sign both Rafael Soriano. Um, we're just going to we we'll give him the two years that he wants, actually. Two years at three mil. Um, we'll get Juan Oviedo, too. Um, we'll get him for one year. Or uh, maybe we'll jag it up. All right, three mil for him. And then we can probably get uh, Dion Vecieto for pretty cheap as well. Um, give him two years. Okay. Because um, he's a player we want to keep around. Anyone else that I uh, want to sign? Possibly Kevin Franzen for the bench. Um, get some competition going in there. Um, I actually wonder what, um, no, I didn't want to do that. What is Swisher's contract? It's not accurate to himself, so actually trading him would not save us a lot of money. Um, so there's that to worry about too. Yeah, their, their contracts are off on this, uh, it's because I didn't use hybrid. Oh, I wanted to sign GPR and CBA. Um, so what we will do is we will release Brett Hayes and, uh, Go sign Aaron, um, not Aaron Cbo. What the hell am I saying? Ryan Domit. Um, I actually don't have enough money to sign Ryan Domit. Um, so we will sign Joan Buck. I thought retired. Um, sign is Aaron Cbo. Yeah, Aaron Cbo. Uh, good power. Pretty good fielder. Um, just didn't work out in Toronto. Um, uh, I can't. Okay, I offered him the max that I could. Um, so we're gonna look at our scouts real quick too. Um, so we got a good pitching one, a good pitching one, good position player, actually a really good pitcher one there too. So we're going to look for someone who's better position, positional scout maybe down here that's, uh, yeah, like this guy who saves us a little bit of money. Um, 
in terms of that since uh, we'll have that going on there all right so we'll have two we'll have these guys uh, do position players and then uh, well I guess we'll have this these two do pitchers and then these two do position players I'll do the scouting usually probably off screen though all right so let's um, sim spring training we're not gonna just skip it we'll sim it so that our prospects can develop and uh, we'll now go to the regular season and set our roster. There's stuff to worry about though. We'll do scouting in a second. Um, that's not. I'm just gonna get rid of all these notifications. Don't need that. All right. So manage the roster. So I'm gonna make Zach McAllister a reliever. All right. So that uh, makes our well, yeah, makes it slightly whatever. Um, makes them worse, but you know, I can't really help that um, and then we will add you here and put you in the MLB I think we're gonna change them to just not that we're gonna change them to relievers as well So that they uh, don't get put in the closing roles and uh, we will um, Send down Swarzak because we still have options on him. We'll manage the minor leagues after this too um, So we have enough relievers. That's good and a closer as well um, so that's 12 pitchers, all right. Um, we're gonna add JP here in Cebia and bring him up and send down Roberto Perez. Um, we don't really have any good catching prospects anyway, but that's good because Jan Gomes is signed for five years um, at a very good price. Um, Nick Swisher, that's fine. Um, yeah, Mike Avila's. We don't want Francisco Lindor in the MLB. Um, I don't want Jerry Sands. Okay, he didn't actually do that good. I was like, I thought Jerry Sands was okay last year. Um, I don't want Ryan Rayburn either. I would rather have. Hmm. I don't have Viciato. I probably would. Yeah, Ryan Rayburn's not very good. Um, so we'll send him down to Double A. Um, wave him. So um, that's gonna pretty much wrap up this setup video. We will. Uh, oh no, we got to do pitching rotation and then set uh, everything after that. So. Zach McAllister, he can fill in if we need a starter, um, so we'll be playing long relief. Brian Shaw um, is fine there. We're going to put Rafael Soriano in the setup role um, instead of Scott Atchison. Um, we'll leave Scott Atchison in middle relief, and we'll put Scott Atchison in a setup role too. And then those these guys will be fine. We only have one lefty in the entire MLB, which might turn into a problem, but we'll assess that as the season goes. So. Um, I think we're going to go with, all right, we have, a, we're doing okay, we'll, it, it will be manageable, it'll be manageable. So we got Michael Bourne, Jason Kipnis, Michael Brantley, Brandon Moss, Carlos Santana, Jan Gomes, um, Lonnie Chisholm. I'm going to switch Murphy and Aviles. Um, we have like four lefties at the top of the lineup too, holy hell. Um, we'll put Carlos Santana there, in, uh, maybe not against righty. Um. Okay, we'll just start off the lineup with lefties then. That's fine. We got a lot of lefties on the team. Um, no DH will deal with when we get to interleague play. Um, here we go. Um, I don't want that happening. Actually, Swisher's not very good, no. Um, what we are going to do, though, is we're going to play Viciato. Um, we'll put Brandon Moss in the... Oh, my God. There's a phone going off. Um, sorry about that. We'll put Viciato as the DH, and we'll put Brandon Moss in the field on that day. Um... Possibly. Um, what we could also do is we can move Carlos Santana back to third base on that day. I think we might do that instead. Put Carlos Santana. No, you know, don't want to screw up their position. Um, so we will leave it like that. Um, we'll put Diana Vecchio in the lineup that day. Um, so we're just gonna have kind of a liability in. Uh, you know, we'll have Michael Brantley. No, never mind. I'm not gonna mess with. It. I'm said I'm not gonna mess with the position. So. Our bench is going to be David Murphy, um, JP Aaron Cebia, Jose Ramirez, and Dion Vizieto, um on certain days. Well, of course, this is going to end, this is going to change based on, um, this is going to change based on, you know, the course of the season. So, anyway, um, we're all set to go, and uh, we're going to, whoops, next episode, which will be probably tomorrow, uh, Monday, is going to cover this game against the Houston Astros, Corey Kluber, and Colin McHugh facing off. So stay tuned for more franchise. We're really excited to get this going, guys. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, like these videos if you like the content, and follow me on Twitter. Link is down below. So 
Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.